Hello, I'm Ed Turner. I'm the creator of Insects in the Museum of Zoology. What I want to do today in this post is show you another wildlife haven within your garden. It's a little bit less glamorous than a pond, but it's equally important for wildlife. And that, of course, is your compost heap. Now, compost heaps can be absolutely teeming with wildlife, and particularly little things, the little things that run the world, mini beasts. So we have a bit of a mini beast foray, a live mini beast foray, to see what I can find in my own compost heap. Let's have a look. So I've taken you to the well-rotted side of my compost heap, which I think is probably a little bit um, nicer to look at than the fresh stuff or my kitchen scraps. But first of all, what you can see is that it's really nice and damp in there. It's been very dry here for about three weeks, and yet the compost is holding the water. And that means you're going to find lots of animals living in here that don't really like to dry out. Animals of damp conditions, animals of the leaf litter, animals of the soil. So we're going to scoot around. I've got a trail to do this. I'd encourage you to have a go at searching for mini beasts in your own compost heap as well. But again, do use a trowel to do that. And we'll see what we can find. So it's really nice and rich in here. So loads and loads of material. That, that means lots and lots of food for animals living oh, in amongst here. And I can see something straight away. I'm doing two things. Let's grab this one first before he disappears. You see him on there? This disappearing in there. Oh, it's gone right in. I'll see if I can gently break this open. Get him out. What was that? Was a centipede. It's a little soil dwelling centipede. And what these will do is they'll live in amongst the soil, in amongst the leaf litter, and they'll be searching for lots of other tiny arthropods, other tiny invertebrates that they'll be hunting. So this is a little active predator. I'll see if I can get him out of his hole now for you to have a look at. <laughs> it's very, it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's see if I can show you. There he is. You see his tail just disappearing in there. Let's see if I can get a better view of that for you. So it's a really long thread like one. These specialize in earthworms. So they're one of these things that's really, really well adapted to living in amongst the soil. Aha, there we go, that's better. Got them exposed. You can see really, really beautiful thread-like centipedes have biting jaws at the front and it'll be hunting for earthworms and other small invertebrates living here in my compost heap. Um, I know from experience there's absolutely tons of these in here, so this is something you can definitely find in your compost heap. Wonderful thing, I'll let him go back. <laughs> go back to where he was, it disturbed him enough. Now there's something else when I was digging that I saw down here straight away and see if I can see if I can find where that's gone. There I so a lot of these things are fantastically good at burrowing. So of course they're going to be disappearing as soon as I disturb it. They're going to be disappearing into the soil. It's often a good idea to stop and you can see that there. Something you might expect to find in a compost heap. This is a worm. Um, this is something um, called a, a tiger worm, Yersinia. This isn't something which is um, an earth, like an earthworm. It doesn't live in the soil. This is, a, this is a species which is really adapted to living in leaf litter and living in compost. So this is something exactly the sort of thing you might find in compost heap. Fantastically good for your composting, of course. See the beautiful stripes there. Um, there'll be loads and loads of these in here. I've got rather beautiful eggs. Little eggs which are kind of a fraction the size um, of a, of a, a pea. Um, shaped like mini lemons, um, so there's something also you can you can see in here. They're worth looking out for. Another one, another one down there, just disappearing. You can see, there's actually quite a lot of life in here. Let's have one last look and see if there's any other mini beasts. It's exciting, isn't it? Kind of a, an active hunt to see what we can find together. Um, let's have a look down down here. See if I can find anything else. Ah, that's what I was hoping for. Often near the edge where there's the rotting wood, you get these. Um, see this? Which is, of course, disappearing. A woodlouse. Um, this is a common woodlouse. Um, so this is um, one of the commonest species in the UK. There are five common species of woodlice that you get in the UK, and this is this is this is the most abundant. Um, it's um, more closely related to a crab or a lobster than it is to an insect because um, it's a crustacean. And these are again one of those things, just to dive down there, that really only live in damp conditions. Let's see if I can find it again. 
And the reason is, I can turn this one over and show you. Oops. Much more tricky doing this with just one hand. <laughs> so I can do this. Um, if I turn them over very carefully, see if I can show you. You can see a little white dot at the end of its abdomen there. You can just about see that on this. Those are its gills. So this is something, although it's now a fully land-dwelling animal, it's something which has um, a marine origin, so it's something that can only live on land if it's wet, and that's partly because of drying out. If it dries out, its um, breathing tubes will stop working, its breathing system will stop working, and it will no longer be able to breathe. So absolutely loads and loads of things living right here in the leaf litter, living right here in your compost heap. So I would strongly encourage you over the next few days to get out and see what you can find living here, the mini beasts that you can find in your compost heap. Um, it's also quite fun to go out at night time or just after it's dark with a torch and you'll see loads and loads of things moving around the surface, things that you won't find during the day. So another wildlife hotspot within your garden.